Hey! Hi! I'm back. I did some stuff while you guys weren't here. You can see this shelf is the one I did yesterday. Mostly empty now. I took off the Power Range. Or no, the Power Rangers are still up here. I took off all the Nintendo stuff other than the Pokemans. Also, I have a fan going. Hopefully you guys don't hear it too much. Let me see if it's making any noise. No, you can't hear it. Alright, cool. Maybe when I talk you can hear it a little bit in the background, but... I'm not going to do noise removal. That'll make it sound like I'm a robot. Anyway, what I did was, I took most of the Nintendo stuff, and I moved it over here. I made a Mario section. You can see it better later. And then I made a Smash Brothers section. Above the Mario section. If I could try to hold the camera properly. I know the light's making glare right now. Live with it. We're not, that's not our focus today. Today we're going to do... <coughs> I think we're going to do Tiger and Bunny first, and then maybe maybe start on this shelf with some Dragon Ball and, and whatnot. Let me move this over a little bit. That'll probably be good enough. Before I go to summer school, what did you do you have to go to summer school? That sounds like you, someone didn't do what they were supposed to do. Look at this awesome cup. This awesome mug cooler thermos cup that Alfonso had made for me. Isn't that awesome? It has my own Akuma artwork on it right here. Then it has the 10 kanji back here. I like it. <clears throat> okay. So, I think we're gonna do, I don't know, I think I'm gonna do Pokemon and Power Rangers for this one since I moved all the Nintendo stuff up. Oh, I need to grab, I need my Fire Mario. I'm gonna put Fire Mario in this display, I think, and then put regular Mario up there. Because I don't have a Jack specific Mario other than Metal Mario, so that Smash display is lacking a Mario. You can see, though, I decided to use uh, SH Figure Arts Bowser for that display. And then I put the big Bowser up in Smash. And there's the Mario. There's SH Figure Arts Mario. And then there's Metal Mario. So it's not it's not a hundred percent the best situation. But it'll do. Alright, let's just turn it like that. This camera works pretty well. There's a little bit of stretching at this angle. You can kinda just a little bit. <clears throat> Thanks, Bog. Am I going to put up my TMNT? Which TMNT? Because, um, as of right now, I have all my NECA ones over here. I know you're not going to really be able to see it too much. But, there's my face. But they're, they're there. And then, I do have the figure arts ones somewhere. I might get those out. And then... I have my uh, my movie TMNT, the, the small the SDCC ones are supposed to be coming in today. They're going to end up on a shelf also, but the slot right here, this gap in this chunk, is going to be for the comic stuff, so this is all like the comics and cartoons and video games, Turtles. So we'll see. Guys, I actually started watching Power Rangers over from the beginning to see what I missed as a kid, and I didn't miss much of MMPR until it got really lame toward the end and started heading into Zeo. So I watched most of that again just for the fun, funsies, but I, I'm skipping through everything just to get to the main events in each season, and I have to say, so far, nothing comes comes close to the original. I'm up through, I'm up at, I have to start uh, Galaxy now, that's where I'm at. And so far, uh-uh. Yeah, I think white shelves are the way to go. Hi, buddy. Hi, are you done climbing everything and making a mess? No, you're not. But yeah, I watched the episode, the crossover with that live-action Turtles, and those live-action things were terrible. Those live-action Turtles, the TV series, ugh, not good. Not good at all. 
Where are my hot toys? Oh, they're, uh, I didn't buy any, because I don't like them. They're not worth the money. You can't pose them, and I don't like collecting action figures of real people. I think that's kind of weird. And also, they're basically dolls, because you can't pose them enough. If you could pose them more, they'd be cool, but you can't. You can't. Hey guys, you want to hear something kind of funny? I got a message. It was actually blocked in my spam filter for YouTube. But I got a spam thing from a person saying that they're glad they unsubscribed because I wouldn't answer any fan questions yesterday during the stream. And I'm a dick. <laughs> it must have been the guy that said I was a dick. I thought that was funny. He said he unsubscribed and he's happy about it. <laughs> so is everyone else. We are all happy that you unsubscribed. You should feel bad about yourself. The fun thing about those kind of comments is I just ignore them. Like, sometimes I like to have fun and go back and forth with the people and make them prove how bad they are at everything, but for people like that, they just get they just get left in the spam folder and deleted. There's just no fun to be had sometimes. Plus, I'd like to think I answered about a billion questions yesterday during the stream. <laughs> Maybe. Thanks, M. Shafiq. Have I seen Fate yet? There's like 10 different seasons of Fate, so what are you talking about? I think for the Tiger and Bunny figures, we're gonna use the display stands. They all have their own display stands. Although... Is that gonna take up too much space? It might. We'll try it. I might be wasting a ton of time, because if I have to go through and put them all back in the packaging, I'm going to probably cry. Hold on, he can't even... Oh yeah, you can. All right. Does anybody know if the guy can fly? I can't remember. Can he fly? Because if he can fly, I'm going to make him levitate. I can't remember if he flies. I don't think he does. Unlimited Blade Works. Yeah, that's the first one I watched, actually. I think it's probably the best one. Stay Night was pretty good, but I really liked Unlimited Blade Works. Zero was eh. It was okay. Uh, Apocrypha, no. I mean, it was tolerable. Why would I mix Pokemon and Dragon Ball? The Dragon Ball are all gonna mixed in to be mixed in together. And then if I need more space, this shelf will get adjusted somewhere. So I decided, obviously, I can't put my Soda Street Fighter figures up there. There's just no space above the Smash. There's only one shelf. So I think that's going to be my Jim Lee X-Men. I'm not sure. He didn't fly. Okay, I didn't think he could fly, but then he had a cape, and I was like, well, capes generally make you fly. That's not a thing. I'm tempted to not use these display stands. His cape is too long for it. It's, they're not staying there, just so you know. I'm just setting them up there as I clear this shelf. Alright, now I know this guy can't fly at all. Hosika is the best girl. Yeah? So guys, I was thinking about it, and if I wanted to do a Robot Damashi cabinet, I think I'd fill up an entire cabinet just on Robot Damashi. So here's my plan get more cabinets. I have more walls. I could get more cabinets. I can fit at least two more there and two more over there. 
that might be what I do. I don't want to spend that money though. But I might have to. I don't know. I really I don't I mean I don't have the money at the moment to spend. But if I end up getting enough money to get some more cabinets, I think that's gonna be Hey buddy. It's Fluffy. He's ready to ruin the stream again. Those X-Men Marvel Legends have started to come out already. I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store like everyone else. Um, but there obviously wasn't enough to fill every single order, so. I hate it when they don't have peg holes in them for the display stands. I know he can fly. I was joking. You could tell I was joking because I said, oh, this guy definitely can't fly. Knowing that he obviously could. Okay, to be fair, um, Fire Emblem was barely in the show. He spent more costume than he did in costume. So... Hey, is it Ian or Ian? I know some people pronounce it Ian. Thanks for being here even though you can't stay. So the bad thing about this guy's costume is you can't pose his legs without his skirt flaring around. I guess we're gonna leave it like that. I like it like that. Thanks for the info. Info? What info? Is there info? Okay, so here's another thing I need to do, guys, and this is my plan, but right now I don't have a saw. A miter saw or a chop saw. Or any saw, actually. I didn't. I don't have any saws. I'm gonna get, this is gonna sound like it's gonna look like crap, and it might, but I wanna try it. If I can find some nice 2x4s, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna cut them to length for the shelves, paint them white, and then in the back I'm gonna stack, I'm gonna put one down and then I'm gonna put two behind it so that we have the shelf, and then another riser, and then another riser, and it should look good and it should give me a nice way to fill out the cabinets and make everything a little extra visible, 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 visible. The trailer for Halo Infinite. There is no trailer for Halo Infinite. There's a teaser, which is basically just a tech demo. Unless they released something new. Is there a new thing that's actually a trailer? What is the layout of your display going to look like? In the top corner, I'm going to put some action figures. I'm going to do that everywhere else. That's all I know for sure, so far. Except, I mean, I kind of have it laid out as best I can. Uh, Storm Street Fighter, Storm Mortal Kombat... SH Figure Arts, Street Fighter, NECA Turtles, Pokemon and Power Rangers, Tiger and Bunny, generic other import stuff, all the way across the bottom, Play Arts, maybe, I may just mix the Play Arts or put the Play Arts along the top maybe, that might look cool putting the big things at the top, I was going to do some quarter scale figures, but they're probably too tall for that anyway, because the ceiling slants, uh, Variable Action Heroes, Variable Action Heroes, Mario, Smash Brothers, Dimly X-Men, Transformers, and then I have some other shelves over there. I don't know. We're gonna see guys. We're kind of figuring it out as we go Homerino cool man I think they meant the info on the X oh info on the X-Men wave hitting yeah You're probably right even though there really wasn't much info to give yeah, that could be Here's the thing guys for those of you that don't tune into the live streams regularly uh, There's a delay obviously from what, what I do to when you guys see it And then obviously I'm answering like a whole bunch of different questions and things so when you respond I usually don't know what you're responding to because I've already had three other conversations since then So that's just kind of something we have to deal with Are you going to have any lighting to your display? I don't know. This room has a lot of light in it, and the white cabinets don't 
hurt that. I mean, the white cabinets help. I might, if I do, I'm probably going to run LED strips along the perimeter of each cabinet, because going under each shelf would be a total pain in the ass, and that should be more than sufficient, but we'll see. I have not yet decided. I forget how his tuber thing works. There it is. Hey, Calvin J, thanks for the support. Iker, what's up, Iker? Iker used to be around a lot more regularly. Then he's like, screw it. I'm not hanging out around here anymore. Um, the thing you're describing for a shelf thing doesn't fit right. And it costs more than a 2x4 and a can of paint. Like, I can put risers in all of this and paint them and everything for like 50 bucks total if I wanted to. I don't think I'm going to put risers in everything. Like, the Mario one doesn't really need it. I know you guys can't really see that too much, but... God, I hate how small they made it. <coughs> Bowser. So small. Rakubai son. One of the cooler designs, I think, from the show. Love me some Rock Bison. Have you ever been in Hungary? No. I've never been out of the continental. North America area. Thoughts on the new Broly? Uh... I think they could have done a lot better. <laughs> I don't like the color scheme, I don't really like the design. I think it'll end up being okay, but no matter what they did, other than keeping... Like, basically just updating the original Broly, people were gonna be pissed about, so... I say let's see how it plays out. Maybe it'll be okay. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan... ...of the green and purple. Like, the green matches the hair, that's such a bad design choice. The green should not match the hair. You've been busy, Iker? So what could possibly be more important than watching another guy do things? That doesn't even sound... Like, just saying that out loud sounds crazy to me. Fifteen bucks at a comic book store? You did not do that. Not for fifteen bucks. There's no way. There is no way you did that. It's got to be a bootleg. Guys, remember when figure arts used to come with display stands? Oh, man. Actually, I'm honestly not a fan of that. I like it in concept, but here's the thing. A lot of the figures that come with display stands don't need them, so that's money that could have gone towards something else. Um, I think if they were going to bring Broly into Super, they should have just left him the original Broly and just made him canon, and then brought him into Super. Changing his look to be this purple and green thing is not okay. I think it looks goofy. I think it can end up being okay, there's a chance. But as of right now, it just looks goofy.
Iker, I'm just busting your chops, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding around with you. Oop, wrong hand. I hand that he doesn't have trigger fingers. Thanks, Randall. Have fun at work. This will go live on the channel. Oh my gosh, that's the wrong hand again. This will go live on the channel later. If you want to, if you want to catch what you miss. Oh, this is such a cool character design. Posing skills 101. Balance. Just kidding, it's not a skill to pose figures. Everybody that says that is a crazy person. Photography is a skill. Posing an action figure, not a skill. Some people choose to not do it well, but they could just as easily choose to do it well. toys no I don't mind the purple tights so much like I could I could get behind purple I just don't like the purple and neon green combo the neon green loincloth just makes no sense it's just weird that's good Iker I'm glad to have you back can't decide which ones I want to open first. It's like Christmas morning. Except I'm going to open all of them and I've already done it before so it's not exciting. John, we all know you just want them all to have orange hair and freckles. <laughs> what if they did give him freckles? Gamer Bros, I just want to say you're one of the most active toy reviewers, collectors. I really hope you get more subs, man, and I always go to your channel for reviews. Keep it up. Thanks for the support, Gamer Bros. I appreciate it. I also play video games if you're into that. Although right now there's not much out, and I'm kind of tired of Warframe, so I haven't been playing much. But as soon as stuff starts coming out again, I will. Alright, now the question. Do we want to use the good luck mode? Not on the prototype. Let's not do it on the prototype. What time is the party tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Oh! <laughs> it's my birthday tomorrow! <laughs> I forgot! Um, no party. I think I'll just be streaming regular, honestly. I need to get that work done, so... Maybe during the day. Maybe another one of these during the day. And then... And I'll, the, the turnout's a lot less during the day, though. So that's kind of a problem. I don't know. I know what we'll do, guys. We'll stream regular for the sculpting, and then after the sculpting, we'll do this. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe that's the plan. If I finished The Office yet, are you referring to the show, The Office? If so, I've watched it, like, twice <laughs> since I started. Not, not in its entirety the second time, but I found it on TV. Like, I finished it last, like, six, seven months ago, probably. No, nah, more than that. I finished it a while ago, and then I happened to see it on, like, TBS or whatever. And I was like, well, maybe I'll watch it again. So I booted up Netflix and started watching it. I didn't go, oh, you know what? I did make it all the way to the end. Yeah, I watched it basically twice now. I'll pose them more once we get them on the right shelf. Yeah, I think we'll do a birthday stream tomorrow. I'm going to get a party hat and wear it. 
<laughs> I'm probably gonna do that now that I said it. Cause why not? Hello from Hong Kong! Hello! From the United States. Thank you for tuning in from Hong Kong. Why have I not put his display stand together? That's odd. Did I pre-order Mega Man 11? What the hell's Mega Man 11? Is there a new Mega Man game coming out? That can't be. Hey, Keith. You're watching from Quay Retaro. I don't know what that is. I said Quay, I meant K. Happy birthday in advance. No, you have to come back for the birthday wishes. That's my trick to get viewers. You have to come back on my birthday to wish me a happy birthday. Otherwise, I reject your birthday wishes. <laughs> Where's my knife? There it is. You're watching from the U.S.? I'm filming from the U.S. Damn it, I went all the way through on that cut. I didn't create the pocket like I like to create. That's what happens when you're not being careful and you're doing it on soft surfaces. Damn it, I did it twice. Plus the tip of this knife is super sharp. I don't know. I have to look into that new Mega Man thing. Alright, John, enough. Everybody stop arguing about what's canon in Dragon Ball, you freaking nerds. All you freaking nerds. You want to kill the mood real fast, have a nerd fight about what's canon in Dragon Ball. That's the best way to do it. Okay guys, I'm not talking about the Dragon Ball movie anymore. I can't answer the same question over and over again. I mean, I could. Have I not opened it? Oh, I did open it. I mean, I'm happy to answer your questions, but I can only repeat it so many times. And I'm sorry that you didn't hear it, but I still can only repeat it so many times. Yeah, Kate, Kate de Taro. Something like that. I can't roll my R's. I got it pretty close. I just read it wrong because I wasn't expecting to read Spanish. I'm not going to Comic-Con. I am not. I didn't get selected for parking. I didn't get selected for a hotel. I didn't get anything I needed to be going to Comic-Con. And it just costs way too much to go there for me to go and not have a fun experience. Like, if I have to stay in a shithole or if I have to go, like, stay really far away, it's not worth it. Anybody who's been there knows exactly what I'm talking about. Especially if you're going there for, like, exclusives and stuff. You don't want to be staying real far away. I did that my first year. 
and said, never again. I can't get his arm to snap on. Got it. I don't know if good luck mode's a good idea for non-dynamic pose. Well, I've taken a lot of Spanish classes. It was mostly vocabulary, though. I guess the teachers were too lazy to teach how to form sentences. Nope. Not in the cabinet. Get out. Can you explain a little bit how the experience works? You just explained it all. Well, you don't need parking if you're not driving a car, but if you have to stay far away, then you have to drive a car, unless you're going to use the shuttle that they have there, which is free, but not exactly conducive to, like, getting up early and going. Like, it, it runs pretty regularly, but it's still a total pain in the ass to get there, like, at certain times. And then if you're buying exclusives, you have to use the shuttle to get all the way back, and it's just a pain in the ass. So the best thing to do is to avoid all of that by getting a downtown hotel, which is what I've done in the past before they made it random, before it was like first come, first serve. That was awesome because I could make sure I was one of the first. It was like a skill-based thing, and now as the world goes the way it's going, nothing is skill-based anymore. It's all based on random, everybody's even, which blows. So now uh, I can't... <clears throat> Don't chew on that. So now I can't get a downtown hotel, which makes it practically... Um, impossible. I mean it literally practically impossible. I could still go if I wanted to, but it's not worth it. These are Ikea shelves. Hi, hey buddy. Are you climbing up? You want to jump up for a minute? Come on. Come on. Jump on! This isn't Fluffy, but he likes to climb on my back too. You're not going anywhere, buddy. This is the guy that I posted on Instagram today. He's gonna be famous. Alright, that's enough hugs. Go. Go somewhere else. Prime Day shopping? I don't know, there's nothing I need though, and I don't know, like I want Prime Day. That's today, isn't it? Isn't today Prime Day? I knew it was sometime around my birthday, but I couldn't remember when. Comic-Con exclusives have never came to Australia. That's because they're Comic-Con exclusives. They don't go anywhere. You have to buy them on eBay if you don't go to Comic-Con. Except for the one year they sold Gohan for 20 bucks on Amazon. And I wish I had known more about what I was doing because I would have bought a ton of them. I bought like five. And then I sold them off for like 40 bucks a piece thinking I'd turn a little bit of profit, which I did. But now those bastards go for so much. I am disappointed. It's like you got everything, pretty much. Well, the other thing, Gus, is... Oh, you guys should also know, when you do at Anthony's Customs, it doesn't show up for me. I mean, I can see that you typed it, but it doesn't show up special because I'm not looking at your chat. I'm looking at a chat that combines them both so that I can see everybody from Twitch and from YouTube. Uh, anyway. Um, you also have to get the passes, and that's probably the hardest part. Because that is also completely random. You sign up on their website and sign up to get passes and 
and then it puts you in a waiting room at random and then if you're lucky it, it selects you to get a pass or not so it, the whole thing is a giant nightmare luckily I count as a professional so I get my passes automatically but since I can't get a hotel it doesn't do me any good You go, kitty. Don't jump up. How you ever collected Sonic Jazzware Super Poses figure? No, I have a couple of the tiny Sonic figures, but that's it. Um, the best way to tell soul is to know that you paid 15 bucks for it honestly look them up on eBay they're worth a lot more than 15 bucks if they're legit because the paint jobs weren't particularly good on the originals anyway so that's not going to really help you I mean, Comic-Con's awesome, but honestly speaking, even for people that love it and are in the industry like I am, it's still at least halfway pain in the ass and not worth going at all. Like, a lot of people make out like it's this best thing ever, and it's honestly not. You basically spend a lot of money to wait in lots of lines, which is fine, and it is fun, don't get me wrong, I'd go if I was able to every year, but it is a total pain in the ass. So, if you're not looking to spend a whole lot of money... You are going to spend a whole lot less if you just pay extra and get the exclusives you want on eBay. Because, yeah, you get your exclusives at, at original price if you don't, go, don't have to go to eBay. But you're paying, I don't know, $300 a night for a hotel, plus airfare. That's already over 1000 bucks. Plus your Comic-Con pass. That's another 200 or whatever it is nowadays. You could easily spend $1,500 just being there. Then you have to talk about food, that's another few hundred bucks at least. It's super expensive to go to Comic-Con. And you spend a lot of time, especially if you're a tall person, you spend a lot of time smelling people's heads, which is gross because they're so jam-packed in that building, and a lot of people that go there don't bathe or wash their hair. I imagine being really tall like I am is a problem, and then also being really short, also a problem. Toy tube, thanks for the support. Happy to help. John four one eight star one. Is that is that like part of a phone number? <laughs> um, thanks. I'm doing all right. Okay, so Dragon Kid is too short for the stand to hold her properly. That's nice. They could have given you a smaller arm for the stand.
There we go. Uh oh. I lost a fist. Whose fist is this? I think it's his. Could be his. The cons always smell. Always. And if you guys haven't been to New York, Con or I mean San Diego Comic Con, you have no idea what you're in for. It's, if you've been to New York Comic Con, it's like that times a hundred. Like everybody always talks about New York, oh it's just as good as San Diego because they can't go to San Diego. I've been to both, it's not even close. It's about a quarter the size at best. And the number of people is, well, New York keeps allowing more and more people to go. So that's not as much of a difference. But there's still, it's not even close. You will be amazed. And I mean that literally, not in the sense that everybody says everything's amazing nowadays. You will literally be amazed at the grandeur of San Diego Comic Con. And at the same time, be repulsed. It's a very strange thing. The difference between Japanese and, and uh, domestic figures is the market. Most domestic figures are marketed towards being as inexpensive as possible and as profitable as possible. Whereas Japanese stuff is mostly collector oriented. Guys, I forgot to turn off uh, Nightbot again. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Yeah, those he headpieces look the uh, same as the regular ones. I'm not buying the bootleg stuff. I'll see if they'll send me stuff to review, but I'm not buying it. There's no, there, there's not enough of a need for it. Plus, odds are, everybody keeps complaining that Tamashii Nations keeps re-releasing figures or making new versions of figures. Yet people are going all crazy to buy parts for figures from bootleg companies, which you know Bandai is going to eventually make. Or at least it's good odds. So, why do that? The new Bubble Bee movie looks like it could be alright. I like the girl that's in it. She seems like a nice person IRL, so that gives her bonus points as a celebrity. She's cute. She seems talented enough. So that'll be good. And then Bumblebee's direction seems to be better. A little bit more along the lines of G1, which isn't my thing, but it, it suits it, so that's fine. I have high hopes for it. Michael Bay's not connected, right? If Michael Bay's not connected to the movie, then that's even better. I don't think he is. The Tokyo Con instead of Comic Con? Well, it's gonna cost you a whole lot more to fly to Japan than it is to fly to San Diego. Unless you live in Japan. So, you better save your money a lot. But Tokyo Con's not... Like, San Diego Comic Con is the Comic Con. Tokyo's not gonna compare. It's gonna be very different, though. <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, I've never been there, but I've watched videos and stuff about it. If you're in the U.S., you're better off going to San Diego if you can. It's gonna be a lot cheaper. Bronco, I have every Dragon Ball figure arts figure there is. In fact, you can probably see it up there. Or maybe you can't. Oh, yeah, it's up there. I just realized I have the new Frieza out. I need the old Frieza because I want him to stand on his rocks. I think. I think I want that. MP36. What's MP36? Is that the reissue of the Optimus Prime? Not a reissue. Uh, not, I'm sorry. Is that the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime? I can't remember. That sounds familiar, but I don't know. I remember correctly, those pieces fall off too much, so I'm not gonna put them on. Bayformers don't suck. The movies, some of the movies suck, but the, mostly the designs were 
Wow. That broke as soon as I tried to peg it in. It just broke right off. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Well, that happened. Both pegs snapped right off without me even really touching them. Gotta fix that now. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Megatron. Oh, the G1 Megatron? I don't like Megatron's look when he's the gun. I think it's the dumbest thing ever. I hate that he transforms from a gun into a giant robot. So I haven't been too keen on picking it up. The pegs broke right off on that. That's so freaking annoying. This is the second one I've had of these. The first one didn't break at all, but it had a scratch on it. So I sold it and bought this one. But this is a, literally a brand new figure. I opened it to make sure all the parts and everything was in there. But I never took the figure out even. That's my luck. Send back one, or sell one with a scratch. Pick one up that explodes when you touch it. I think Piccolo will get a re-release at some point, whether it's anime colors or not, who knows. I really don't want to have to fix this. Well, that one pegged right in, no problem. That one just exploded. Well, that freaking sucks. It's not like this is one of the harder ones to come by or anything, either. I'm tempted to just buy another one. I don't like having repaired figures in my collection. Ah, somebody just asked if I fix figures or replace them. It depends. Like, I can probably replace this so that it's not noticeable, so what I'll do is I'll fix it. I mean, not replace it, repair it. What I'll do is I'll sell it, oh my gosh, I'll fix it, and I'll sell it as being fixed, and that'll help me cover one that's not broken. <sighs> well, you're probably not going to be able to see anyway. These little pegs, those little pegs that go right here. little pegs that come off of this and peg into his back. As soon as I like tried to peg him in, they just crumbled. Both pegs broke off. And it's not like it's a tight fit or anything. I put the other one in, it just slides right in and it goes, it doesn't, it's not like a, a pressure fit or anything. So that's kind of shitty. Oh, the V2 figures are so nice. Although this one's got a bunch of marks on it too. Maybe that was just common for these guys. Lego reviews? No. I honestly, and I'm not saying this in like a, in a judgy way, I mean it literally, I don't understand the appeal of Legos to adults. I don't get it. I mean, I loved Legos as a kid, but I don't get it. I get the pleasure of building something, but I don't see why you would want to build Legos. They're, they don't end up, they just look like a bunch of Legos when you're done still. If they were somehow smooth and actually looked like things, then that'd be fine, but I just don't get it. If you want to build something, build a model kit. 
as far as I'm concerned. I just don't get it. Um, my favorite anime, I probably would go with One Piece overall, but I really thought Full Metal Brother, Full Metal, Al I can't talk, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was really good. Gundam reviews, I've reviewed a whole, like a whole bunch. A whole bunch. Legos to adults is kind of scary now. What do you mean? Scary. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate Legos. I think like their, for instance, for example, their Star Wars ships are really cool. But I don't understand why you would want a Lego version of a Star Wars ship. Because it still looks like Legos. I just, I don't know, I don't get it. I know, I haven't reviewed any from the anime line because I don't want any of those figures. <laughs> And they cost too much, mostly. I was gonna get the Alex figure, but then I was like, eh, that's not. I still need to get the Providence one. Providence Gundam. Which I know people are like, don't get it, but I want it. It goes with my justice and my freedom. You should have looked before asking. What did you ask? Are you the one that asked about Gundam reviews? If you are, I've only reviewed Robot Damashi. I've reviewed one uh, real grade. That was the Mark II. But otherwise, it's all been Robot Damashi. You don't have to apologize. You didn't hurt my feelings by asking if I reviewed Gundams. Not mad. Just disappointed. <laughs> Ah, oh, he's an asshole! He's a dick! I feel like every time I say something, there's somebody out there clicking the thumbs down button and unsubscribing. <laughs> kind of funny to think about that, actually. If it wasn't a matter of my livelihood, it would be funny. Kingdom Hearts figures? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna try to get review samples because I'm not really into Kingdom Hearts. So if I can get review samples so I can review them for you guys, that'd be great. But I don't know. Like you guys, I don't know if a lot of you realize that I have to buy like almost everything I review. Like 99% of it. So I can't just review everything. I get some stuff from NECA for review samples, I get some stuff from Tamashii Nations for review samples, and then just other odds and ends. Like these Beast Kingdom figures I'm going to review today for you guys are review samples. But don't get excited, I won't be getting more. <laughs> I will do video game reviews once video games start coming out again. The review of Figma Red, what are you talking about? This figure? I have. On my channel. reviewed it and a bunch of other Pokemon stuff all around the same time because it was like the 20th anniversary or the 20th movie or something like that when they all came out. I didn't buy them. I just said they were review samples. I swear sometimes people don't listen. Unless you just tuned in. I literally just said that within the last probably five minutes. Um... They sent them as review samples. I'm filming the reviews today. I'm also filming my TMNT. 
my TMNT reviews today, the NECA SDCC one, that set. And so those will go up tomorrow, and then the Beast Kingdom ones will go up the day after, prob or at least one of them will go up the day after. I'll probably start with Wonder Woman, because she's the only one that's actually designated Comic-Con exclusive. Um, check my reviews, guys. Check my reviews. We've already been going for an hour? Dang. This takes so long. That's what she said. <laughs> Thanks, Gus. I'm glad you like that. I think it's kind of a shame that that's even a thing you have to comment on. You would think that would be the standard for reviews on any product. Ah, uh, but this is this is the world we live in. No worries, Tyson. No worries. I hate doing this. This one always scares me that it's gonna break when you have to pop his leg off. Opinions on Hot Toys figures, watch my reviews. I make the reviews for a reason, watch the reviews. Ooh, I hate that. I hate popping that off so much. You ask me for my opinions on Hot Toys one more time, I will say watch my reviews one more time. You plan to do more reviews of the next Pokemon characters, Luna and Lily. Uh, Luna. Luna. I'll probably get Lily because she's a main character, but there's that one girl that's like, I don't even know what she is. Like, who is she? Is she from the original? I only played uh, Ultra Sun and Moon, so I'm not sure who that other girl is. I probably won't get her. Oh, his arm is too heavy for him. That sucks. That really sucks. That really sucks. Really, really sucks. I don't like pineapple at all. Alan Callen. I remember that name from when I very first started doing YouTube and stuff. Are you that same Alan Callen? I don't know where, where I remember you from other than just in general I remember that name I don't know why maybe because it has a certain ring to it yeah this kind of blows his arm is too heavy for him to hold up Yeah, I'm not a fan of pineapple. I don't know why. I th actually, I do know why. It's the texture. The texture grosses me out. I don't know why. I'm not a picky eater. Like, I mean, I have preferences, but other than lima beans and pineapple, 
I don't really have a problem eating mo most things, but I don't like pineapple at all. Oh, back when I associated with the ACBA community. That could be it. I don't know. Like I said, I just remember your name. Well, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the stream that I'm doing today. <laughs> From sun and moon. She's from Ultra? No. No, she's not. I played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. She's not in there. I want to know where she is, if that's what you're talking about. I'm not talking about Lily. I'm talking about the other one. The dark-haired girl with the hat. The new Predator design? I don't know, you can't really see it. Are you talking about just the, the regular one? It looks alright, it looks pretty cool. I like that they're mixing in a little bit of color into the suit. I mean, how many Predators with neon green skin and black stripper clothes can you, can you collect? How come I don't have anything to do with ACBA anymore? Oh, there are a variety of reasons. Which I'm not going to get into because it doesn't really matter. But no matter what I say, people are going to have their own opinions about stuff anyway. So I, there's no point. There's no point in getting into it. I forgot how much of a bitch this guy is to put together. The pl Oh, the player character? That's dumb. Player characters don't count as characters when they're all custom. That's lame. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy her then. Player characters in games that are completely customizable, as far as I'm concerned, don't count as characters. Dragon Ball figure arts. <clears throat> You will wait patiently until that day. What are we talking about? <laughs> uh, what day? What are we waiting for? Okay, so this guy definitely is going to have the two fire hands out because that's going to be awesome. Mezco's... No. I'm not collecting Mezco figures until they stop looking weird. So, probably not going to be collecting the Mezco figures. Oh, I'm not going to be able to pose his... Wait a minute, can I not give him his fire hands while his cape is on? Oh, that blows. Oh, I'm going to try to make it work and see if I can make it work. Not using his crossbow, because fire hands look cooler. Why won't you make a custom for yourself? The BW Custom Pack Arkham City Batman. I didn't do a black and white Arkham City Batman. I did his black and gray suit for somebody, but that's not black and white. That's just, that's. Anyway, I don't make customs for myself because one, I don't have time. Two, if I'm making a custom for myself, that means I'm not making one for somebody else, which is how I pay the bills. And three, I think it's really weird to make customs for yourself. The most I'll do is accessories like, oh, you can't see it right now, like the Wolverine head I made. Ideal company to produce Batman animated series figures, SH figure arts, for sure. For sure. Am I going to display all of my DBZ figures? No, because I have all of them. There's too many. So I think for, in most cases, like something like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, for instance, there's no way I'm putting the original one on display. Until I have enough room to put everything on display, which will probably never happen unless I get rich, um, I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. I tried watching JoJo's once, and then I turned it off. No, I watched one episode. And it didn't convince me to watch it. But I'm thinking it might have just been a bad episode. 
See you later, duck animation. Wait a minute, it's 12 p.m. there. You mean, you mean a.m. 12 p.m. is noon. Why are you going to bed at noon? Thoughts on Koto Bukia? Um, they make relatively inexpensive, lower than high-end statues, and moderately articulated statues, kind of. So they're okay. I don't. I own one Koto thing, and it's the Master Chief statue, and that's it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this to work, guys. Let's see. I can bring his arm forward enough. Yeah, not gonna work. Damn it, at least one fire hand's better than no fire hands. How come some of your figs are still in boxes? Because I can't open them all at once. Why do you say flan? I don't own a single Super Action Statue JoJo's figure, so no. I will not be displaying them because I don't own any. If I did, I would. The figures are mostly really cool looking. Yep. No fire hand for this side, that's a shame. This is my regular job, guys. This is it. Randall, you're very delayed if you're talking about weird textured foods, but flan is just, like, thick custard. That's not really a weird texture. Do I think figmas will get better or worse? Uh, given the current climate, I think every figure line that we collect is going to get worse because people keep paying for stuff even when it's not as good as it should be, and that only makes people spend less money on quality. Honestly, I don't really <laughs> make that much. But I'd rather make less. I hate it when they give you stands for figures that can't use stands. I'd rather make less and do what I like than get a real job, as people like to say. Um, shit, what am I gonna do? I guess I could just lean him against it. I never do that last part. I never. This is the first time I've ever had a display, so never. 
for that. I spend most of my time doing reviews, customizing, and I'm working on a line of action figures. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the fact that I'm designing a whole line of action figures to try to sell because I need to make more money. Because that's a thing that I'm doing. That's what I stream three times a week. Because YouTube money doesn't exist anymore. Half Speed Art. What's up, Half Speed Art? I'm doing alright. How are you? How are we doing on time? I have to go somewhere today to pick somebody up from the aeroport. So I can't, can't be late. You look like a retired MMA fighter. I'm 30. How could I look retired? I don't think I look that old. Well, actually tomorrow I'm 31, so I guess I should say I'm 31, because that's closer to being accurate. Do I still play Overwatch? Um, not officially. Um, maybe I'll start streaming that again. I stopped for so long, I got back into it the other day with my buddy, and it was like a whole new game. I wanted to see the new changes for Hanzo. They're pretty cool. I kind of miss my old Hanzo, but Hanzo's still Hanzo. I'm still gonna wreck faces. Don't pick Hanzo, you suck. And then I kill everybody on the entire map over and over again. You still suck. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. Screw you. Well, maybe Grand Marv Tarkin, except for the part that he said retired. That's an odd bit to add to it. It's, it's more like he's saying he looks fit 10 years ago. <laughs> saying somebody looks retired, I don't think has ever been a proper compliment. I'm not saying I was offended, but let's just be clear for future reference. Telling somebody they look retired, not really the best compliment to give someone if you're trying to give someone a compliment. I'm very tempted to pose this, uh, this version of Wild Tiger holding Prototype Bunny, but I don't know. Oh, I don't do dabs because I'm an adult and I have a brain. Half-speed art. I'm so, you know what? All you people that say you have better things to do than watch me, stop being productive citizens in the country. <laughs> Go... Go be more lazy and slovenly and just watch my videos all the time. It's better for me, not for you. <laughs> That's going to be my new, new slogan. Watch my videos. It's better for me than for you. <laughs> oh, if I had a nickel every time I said that. My criteria to work for an action figure company as a designer is if they're going to pay me well enough to do it. Honestly, I mean, that's it. Even if I have to make crappy toys, I wouldn't want to do it, but if I could get paid to make toys, that would be... Oh cool, another one where the display stand's not going to help at all. If, is there a character you want as a figure that has been made? I made a whole video about it. Look for it. I made a top 10 list of figures I want that don't exist. You should watch it. It's a pretty cool video. That hamster character looks kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? I don't really get that. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, Grand Marf. I'm gonna call you Marf instead of Moth. To say somebody looks retired is not inherently a compliment. No matter what career it is, it's still saying you look retired. That's weird. Also, you didn't even say it. Why are you talking about it so much? Unless you did say it. I don't think you did, though. Thanks, exclamation point, exclamation point. Oh my gosh, this is taking so long.
<laughs> you're doing the best you can to be lazy and watch YouTube videos instead of do stuff you're supposed to do, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate it more than you know. I do the same thing. So that's fair. Why is it people feel the need to argue on the internet? I'm curious about that. Because there's, I don't think there's anything that's a bigger waste of time. Grand Moff Tarkin, you're clearly not understanding this. Just because it's possible to retire young, that doesn't mean that saying somebody looks retired is implying that you look like somebody who might have retired young, so you basically look like a normal person. No, that's not what somebody is insinuating when they say that. Now, that's the end of the conversation. Stop talking about it. Holy crap. Again, I'm not offended by it, but your argument makes no sense. I doubt very much that he was trying to say, you look like somebody who is the same age as you, who happened to have a job that they retired from, because that's not a look. You can't look retired if you retired young. Then you just look like a normal person. You should just say you look like a normal person, if that's what you're trying to say. I will not imagine that. Thank you very much. How many figures of Tiger and Bunny are there? All the figures next and below the Pokemon figures. The anim I thought the anime was really fun, but yeah. All of these, and all of these, and all of these are Tiger and Bunny, plus these three. The, the only ones that I don't have are, there's a couple versions of this guy that have different logos. I think I'm missing one or two of those, but I have all the other ones, so that's it. Randall, how dare you? How dare you? I'm not a normal person, by any stretch of the imagination. Alright, let's see if I can get this lady posed without breaking anything. Another reason I'm not posing these guys super dynamically, at least yet, is because... The uh, tiger and bunny figures are pretty old at this point, and a few of them have very finicky issues. So you want to be extra careful with them. Like, I've already gone through one of this lady. I broke something on her, I had to fix it and sell it, and then I bought a new one. What anime do I hate the most? I don't spend time hating things. If I don't like something, I don't think about it. Why would I spend time hating something? That doesn't make sense. I don't hate anything. If I don't like it, I don't... I mean, I hate when people do things, because that's something you have to actually deal with. But, I don't hate an anime. That would be silly. I review, I've reviewed all of these Tiger and Bunny figures, so if you want to check them out... Thank you for the compliment, Randall. I appreciate it. Uh-oh, I can't get her hand on. I need a hair dryer. I'll just set it on the lights over here for a second.
That's not gonna work. Dang it. Hang on a second, guys. I'm not going to Comic-Con, no. I need to let that get hot so I can actually peg on her hand. Like I told you, this figure breaks super easily, and I don't want to break another one of these. I'm so pissed off about that Golden Ryan figure breaking. Brand new, out of the package figure. Just crumbles. I have seen the new Trunks figure. What are you guys talking about? Am I ready for Storm, Rain, and Ermac? Yes. Let's see, do we think this got hot enough yet? I'm hoping it did. I don't want to whip out the hair dryer. It's going to make too much noise for the stream. What are your thoughts on oof? What the hell is oof? Other than a word people say when they make a mistake or something. I don't think it heated up very much, but let's see. Well, it heated up enough. Yay! I'll do it. What does I'll do it mean? I don't know. I always like your videos because you give an honest review, not like others that said good things about the figures just to have a sponsor. An example, the Play Arts 2B, man, it was horrible. I haven't reviewed it, so I don't know. I wasn't planning on buying it. I was for a minute, but then I decided not to. Do you think you'll get the Goro figure? Yeah, I'm going to get all those figures, guys. Goron looks pretty good. I 
I wish they gave you fight stands or posable stands for these guys that actually held the figures properly. I'm trying to figure out how to use hers. And it's just too big. Look. Like, it kind of lines up, but just barely. Let's put it this way. But she's really hard to balance, and they're all using their stands, so I want her to also use her stand. And no, I'm not talking about JoJo. There we go, we'll just put it under her armpits. Three more! Didn't they show an unmasked Sub-Zero the other day? Yes, they did. And he was wearing the MK3 the uh, color block outfit that I was talking about. But the thing is, his isn't the same as the regular uniform, so if it's only him, I'm kind of bummed out. Yeah, I don't get the appeal everybody has. I'm pretty sure Mezco thing is just a fad and it's gonna die off, because their figures are objectively not that good. Even the ones that are good still have serious problems that most people just don't like to acknowledge. So, I think that's going to die off. That's my own two cents. Of course, it's strictly conjecture. But, those goofy proportions are eventually going to catch up to them. They're getting a little better at it, but... The out-of-scale cloth, also weird. I'm pretty sure it's just a fad. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting Dinobot. Dinobot's one of my favorite characters of all time. And Beast Wars is my favorite show of all time. So, yeah. Oh, shit, did he not come with a stand? He has to. Did I get screwed when I bought this? Alright, somebody look it up real quick. Does this guy come with a stand, or did I just not take it out? Oh, no, I don't have one. Does he not come with it? I don't think he comes with one. Why would he not come with one? He's supposed to come with one. They all come with one. Damn, that sucks. Somebody look this up. The Get Wild Tiger. Open face version. See if it comes with a stand. I don't think it does. Hey, Quintessential Bread. Hey, Quintessential Bread. I, uh, I'm going to message you later on, on, on the discords because... Maybe I won't, because I don't want to bother you, but I uh, I downloaded the thing you told me to download, but apparently I need to set it up somehow, other than just downloading it and adding it to the thing, because it didn't do anything, I don't think. That's going to be so lame that every one of them has its own display stand, except for him? What the heck? Brett, do you collect stuff too? I didn't know you did, if you do. If you don't, it's interesting that you're here. I'm not saying you shouldn't be here, I'm just curious. I thought you were just around for the art stuff, not the nerdy geek stuff. The death stroke looked good. It looked okay. Still weird looking. Mickey, are you saying that to be funny, or do you know that it actually doesn't come with a stand? <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, my thoughts on NECA's Crash, I'll be reviewing it soon. I don't only collect Nintendo figures at all. <laughs> That's not even close to true. That blows that he doesn't... I'm gonna have to buy another... Wild Tiger just to steal the stand from him. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm glad that you appreciate the content, even though you don't collect. Hey, maybe maybe there's a few things you'll want to collect. Maybe maybe I could turn you to the darks the dorks I oh that's I hate I hate myself right now.
Hey guys, if you like my art stuff, uh, Quintessential Bread makes really good art stuff too. On Twitch. Unless I'm thinking of someone else, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Do I think they'll make a great Saiya man? Yeah, eventually, probably. I'm, I, I started out not liking the great Saiya man character at all, but he's grown on me. Your art is not good. You do stream it though, right? I'm not going crazy. I could, it's very possible I'm going crazy. I've said the wrong word at least 20 times already. I didn't sleep much last night. So, I might be losing my mind. But I'm pretty sure I've seen your artwork in some capacity somehow. You don't stream. Have, how, how could I have seen your artwork? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. You do artwork stuff though, right? I might be losing my mind here. Like I said, I got like no sleep last night. Again. It's a problem I have. Nightbot, you need to knock. You need to knock. I swear I've seen your artwork before. I could be just completely losing it. So you have stream. I'm telling you, I, I remember something about that. I Maybe, I'm not crazy. If you did, you streamed art stuff, right? Or am I totally losing it? Please say yes. Please say yes. If you say yes, then I'm not crazy at all. Mr. Z's, you are incorrect. $35 is incredibly cheap for what most of the figures are. However, lately a lot of their figures have been made incredibly poorly. You haven't had an art stream. What did you stream? Maybe I was watching art and you at this? I don't know. Now, now maybe I'm crazy again. Because it, it's in my head. You guys ever have that where you vividly remember something that turns out didn't happen? I mean, something similar happened, but you remember it completely differently? I hate it when that happens. Maybe I was just talking to you about art while watching another stream. Maybe we were in the comment section talking? That must have been it. It has to be it. Because otherwise I'm a complete loon. And I don't want to be a complete loon. Yeah, that's what it was. It was that that guy that was sculpting. What was he sculpting? I don't know. The guy had it with a beard. I don't watch his videos anymore, his streams anymore. Hey, you don't have to be confident to stream your art. That's how you get better. I started streaming <laughs> as soon as I started using ZBrush. I figured, what the hell? And I sucked. And I got lots of views for the first time, and then everybody was like, this guy sucks. And then they stopped <laughs> because he sucked. And now he's not so bad. Oh, uh, I can't remember that guy's name. I Eat Models. That was his name. I think we were watching his stream, and that's probably where I remember you from. I mean, originally. I don't watch him anymore. Make some weird stuff. <laughs> That's where we met. It wasn't your stream, it was his stream. That ex that explains it. See, this is the problem of meeting people online. There's no actual meeting of people. It's just... Usernames and text. Things got weird. Can you elaborate? Publicly? If not publicly, even privately? Now I'm curious. But I kinda got a weird sense from the streams in general, so I just stopped watching. Like, was he doing that weird, like, thing that 3D artists do where everything they sculpt has, like, giant nipples and stuff? Was it that kind of weird? Because that's freaking weird. I can't remember why I stopped specifically other than I got a general weird vibe. I can't remember much these days.
Oh, okay. Well, that's better than the other thing. <laughs> How do you have fights with somebody? If you're streaming and somebody's doing stuff you don't like, just remove them. That's weird. That is weird. Huh. What's going on here? What are these shelves called? They're... Why is this not closing? They're Billy bookshelves from Ikea. Oh. That's why it's not closing. Because I'm a moron. And so it begins what? What's beginning, Nick? I did watch the Batman Ninja animated movie. That shit was weird. <laughs> See, look at this figure. This is easily the best figure of the bunch. It's such a cool looking one. Look at that. No, he's too bright. If I bring him up here, it'll be less bright. Kinda see it. It's not gonna focus very well. Oh well. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. I wasn't really trying to gossip, I was just more curious about what happened since I haven't been there in forever. Alright guys, look at that! Can I fit them all on one shelf now? I don't think so. Oh, people asking about the shelves? It might... I might be in the market for the SHF Ninja Batman. I don't know, some of those figures look awfully weird. Alright, so we need to figure out if I can fit these all on one shelf. And I need to fix this guy and sell him and replace him. That's a bummer. The funny thing is, Origami Cyclone's, Cyclone is like the worst character in the whole show. I don't think so. I don't, so I don't think Nick was making fun of you, just in general. I've had that question about a trillion times. I don't know if I'm going to get them all to fit. He's not a coward. He just doesn't have a superpower, man. Not really. He wasn't a coward. That's a bit harsh. You're a coward. Ginger. Oh no. Oh, as soon as I made fun of Ginger, he fell out of my hand. See, if any one of these needed to not have a stand, it's the prototype one because he's supposed to be being held like this by this guy. I don't have it out to show you, but that's lame that this guy doesn't have a display stand. That is so lame. I'm trying to figure out a better way to fit these.
See, his has a peg hole in it. He can actually connect to his stand. The rest of them don't. That's frustrating. I am going to fit them all. Haha. -ha. It's going to be crowded. But that's the way it goes. Let's put... I'll probably have to rearrange this later anyway, but it's going to have to do for now. It's not the one that broke. Oh, man. Although, I figure there's probably enough space for me to put him in there. Since he's a flyer, he can go higher up. Ooh, it's just about time for me to call it. Oh, I really don't like that that broke. Let's see where we can make some space. Let's not do that. You know, I think the choice of using these display stands might have been a bad one. What's causing all this trouble?
That's a little crowded, but... Who broke? Fresh out of the package, I tried to peg in the wing, and both of the pegs just, like, snapped right off. I barely even touched it yet, and it just crumbled. Have you ever played with your figures? Be honest. I don't even know what that means. How do you play with your figures? I don't get it. People ask me all the time, can I play with this? I don't freaking know. How are you going to play with it? How weird are you? I guess should be the question. What reveals are you most anticipating from SDCC? How could I know what they're going to reveal at SDCC? So I'm going to fix it and then buy a new one and then sell the broken one. I mean, I'll, I'll let people know that I've repaired it, but... That's what... That's what's going to happen and he's going to fit right back there. It's a crowded display, but I don't have any other option. The choice of using their display stands is not a good one. But it does kind of look cool. Eh. MCU fig slash Deadpool cast for sale. I have some of the MCU figures. Um, it says exactly on the video how to buy the figures that I was selling. The Deadpool heads are not available anymore. That's what we did today. We accomplished so much. Separate movie and anime? What is it, just the three then? For the movie? The V2 and Golden Ryan? I have to put them somewhere, and they all fit, so that'll work. What would I like to see? I don't know. There's no way for me to predict what would make me happy. People don't know what's going to make them happy. For those of you that didn't see earlier, here's the... Uh, Where's this cord going? Holy crap, hang on a sec. There we go. There's the Mario display. I know there's glare right now. Here. Oop, hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna put the broken figure in there for now. Yeah, I like having the stands too, it's just they take up a lot of space. Okay, let me open this so you guys can see it properly since I have the studio lights on. There we go, so there's the Mario display. Little lame-ass Bowser. And there's the Smash Brothers display. And... There's no light over here, but you can kind of see... My Naked Turtles, and my Storm and SH Figure Street Fighter... And some other stuff. Yeah, of course the shelves are adjustable. See the pegs? Um, I guess we're gonna call it there, guys. I'm gonna try to fix that figure real quick and then I need to leave. And then maybe we'll do another one of these later, but I have to shoot some videos. I'm gonna review my neck of turtles, I'm gonna review those Beast Kingdom figures. We need to get these guys on display next. The Power Rangers are going down here. And then this whole two things is for Dragon Ball. So we're gonna do that. I know you guys are looking for Dragon Ball. Where are the Marvel Legends? In the toilet where they belong? They're in some bins over there. I might do some Marvel Legends on these cabinets. I don't know yet. I want to get my imports out first. Uh, thanks Impossible Pie. I want to get the all my import stuff out first and NECA stuff because it's better, frankly, than Marvel Legends. Uh, except that top corner is gonna be like Jim Lee X-Men Marvel Legends. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end this stream now, and then if I stream later, we'll be doing Dragon Ball and Power Rangers. We'll be doing Power Rangers for sure. 
And you know what? I think we're going to save Dragon Ball. We're going to build up to Dragon Ball. We're going to do Power Rangers, and then we're going to do my Variable Action Heroes. And then we'll do Dragon Ball in a separate one. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Uh, have a good rest of your day. If I do stream again, make sure you have your notifications on so you know when that's going to happen. And... Ugh. Who doesn't like kitty cats? Everybody likes kitty cats. You heard I'm in Houston. That's incorrect. Um. Oh, the shelves are Billy bookshelves. Okay, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Peace.